Hey there, students. In this clip, we're going to go over um, three examples on geometric series and sequences. So let's go ahead and write down uh, the title of the lesson. Geometric series and sequences. Geometric series and sequences. Okay? We're going to start by looking at sequences first, two, two examples on that, and then I will look at uh, an example in geometric series. All right? So, examples. Number one, uh, find the eighth, the eighth term of the sequence Three, nine, twenty-seven, dot, dot, dot. Okay. All right. So obviously, this is a a, a, an, a geometric sequence because if we if were arithmetic, this would be fifteen. Okay. Because this is if we were adding six every time, this would be plus six nine, and then plus another six twenty-seven. So clearly, we're not multiplying. We must be. We're not adding. We must be multiplying. So this is a geometric sequence. Okay. So to, to find the nth term of a geometric sequence, we have to use the formula um, an equals a1 r to the n minus 1. You notice that there are four variables here, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we must have only one unknown, OK? So let's list all we know and what we need. We know that n, which is the nth term, is which is the number of terms, is 8. The nth term. A n is basically A8 in this case, and we do not know what it is. So this is a missing one, so we better know everything else. The common ratio is uh, what you get when you divide a previous term by the first term. So in this case, we can divide A2 by the term before it, which is A1. So if I do A2 divided by A1 or A3 divided by A2, same thing. It's going to give us the common ratio. I can do A3 divided by A2. Same story. So we're going to let's just do 9 divided by 3. Okay? A2 divided by A1, common ratio is 3. All right? And then um, A1 is the first term is 3. Okay? So you look here, we have only one unknown, so we can use this formula to find what AN is. So AN, uh, which is basically A8 in this problem is going to be um, a1 3 times the comma ratio 3 raised to the 8 minus 1. Now note these two numbers are different this is an exponent and this is a number so you may not multiply these two numbers so don't do this if you did this this equals 9 to the 8 minus 1 that's wrong okay you have to simplify this one completely first before you multiply. Remember your order of operations? Exponent before multiplication, okay? So we have to exponentiate this component first before you can multiply. All right, so you're going to have 3 times 3 to the 7, okay? Now we can use our exponential rules. This is, since the bases are the same, this is 3 to the 1 times 3 to the 7. It's the same thing as 3 to the 8, okay? And we can work that out in our calculator. Uh, 3 to the 8 <clears throat> is 6,561. 6, so write it down, 6,561. If you do not want to use the exponential rules as I did here, you just wanted to compute this directly with a calculator, there's no problem with that. You can just go 3 times 3 to the 7, which will give you the same answer. All right? So um, there goes your solution for example one. All right, let's take a look at another example involving uh, geometric sequences. Number two, write it down. If A10, which is a 10th term, is equal to 512, and the comma ratio is two, find Find the first, the first, and 
15 first and 15 terms 15 terms of the geometric of the uh, sequence okay it's not unnecessary to say geometric here because we have we deal with a common ratio so by default it's going to be geometric in nature so this question is asking us for two terms the first and the 15 so we're going to have two answers all right so let's go ahead and find the solution to the first answer uh first term so let's find the first term all right so the first term we're going to be looking for a1 right so to find the first term since we deal with n, n terms here we're going to be using the formula a sub n equals a1 r to the n minus 1 okay so four unknowns we may have only four variables we may have only uh one unknown so a1 uh, the first term, we have no idea what it is, question mark. Uh, let's see. And how about we use n equals 10, since we know what a10 is. So n equals 10. That means that a10 is 512. All right, and our common ratio, we're also notified that it is equal to 2. So we have only one unknown. Excellent. We can go ahead and compute what uh, a1 is. All right, so... We're going to use the formula a10 equals a1 r to the n minus 1. Plug in all these variables. I mean, the numbers and the unknown, and then we're going to solve, okay? So a10 is uh, 512. Put that in. We're going to have 512 equals uh, a1, which is the unknown. The comma ratio is 2 to the uh, 10 minus 1, all right? So bring it down, we have 512 equals uh, a1 times 2 to the 9th, okay? So what on earth is 2 to the 9th? Let's check that out with our calculators real quick. 2 raised to the 9th power is 512, okay? So this is going to become 512 equals 512 a1, okay? All right, so... Let's uh, finish this up. To get eight, uh, A1 by itself, divide both sides by 512. So divide this by 512. And divide that by 512. This cancels with that one time. And then this goes there once, this goes here once. Your final answer, A1, is 1 divided by 1, which is 1. Okay? So that's your first term. First term is 1. All right. Now, this question asked us for two things, the first and the 15th term. Now, let's look for what the 15th term is, okay? So, uh, so let me partition my workspace so we do not get confused. Put it down the center. All right, let's look for the 15th term. Uh, 15th term. All right, so uh, we're still going to use the same formula, a n equals a1, r to the n minus 1. Let's list everything. There are four variables, so we must have only one unknown, okay? So uh, since we're looking for the 15 term, by default, n equals 15, okay? a n in this case is equal to a15, but we do not know what it is, so let's put a question mark. That's what we're looking for. Everything else we better know or else we'll have a situation where we have two unknowns. Okay, so we have uh, A1. What is A1? Guess what? That's what we just found here. A1 is 1, right? So our answer here is actually helping us. So A1 is 1. Um, what else do we need? Common ratio. Common ratio was provided for us initially, which is 2. Okay, so we have 1 unknown, 3 knowns, which is perfect. Okay, so let's look for uh, A15. So A15 is simply going to be uh, a1, which is 1, times uh, r, which is 2, raised to the um, n minus 1, 15 minus 1. So basically plugging 1, 2, into the, one, two 3 into this formula generates this um, equation right here. So we're going to have a15 equals 1 times 2 to the 14. Right? We know that uh, 
1 is a multiplicative identity, so anything times 1 is whatever you started with, so this is just simply 2 to the 14. Uh, let's see, what is 2 to the 14? Uh, 2 to the 14, 2 carat 14 is uh, 100 and, no, 16,384. Okay, so our answer is 16,384. Alright, so there goes your 15th term. So your 15th uh, term is 16,384. Alright, so there goes the two answers um, that we need. Now, let's go ahead and um, try out an example on on geometric series. We know what a series is, right? The series is a sum of sequences, so we're going to have to put a different formula formula here, okay, which is the geometric sum formula. All right, so let's write down the question for example number three. Um, the question is as follows. All right, so um, example three uh, is as follows. Find the sum, find the sum of the first, of the first 10, ter 10 terms of the uh, geometric, geometric series 16 minus 48 uh, plus 144 minus 432 plus dot dot dot. Okay, if you look at this series, you notice that the signs are bouncing around negative, positive, negative. What 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 on earth does that mean? What can you predict about this series based on that sign change? Uh, so let's uh, go ahead and write down the formula we're going to use. Since we're looking for the sum, we're going to use the formula S sub N equals <clears throat> A1 minus um, A1 times R to the number of terms. That whole expression divided by 1 minus the common ratio. Okay, 1 minus the common ratio. All right, uh, so um, let, let's go ahead and list what we know and what we need. This is an equation that has, this equation has uh, four variables, one, the n2, three, and then r4. So we may have only one unknown, okay? So we are looking for the sum of the 10 terms. So by default, n is gonna be 10, all right? So we're summing the 10 terms. So s sub 10 is gonna be our s sub n um, in, in, this, in this problem. Okay, and we do not know what that is. That's what we're looking for. All right, so we need to know everything else, or else we're going to have some complications, or we might have to resort to using the first formula. Okay, so um, what else do we know? A1, the first term is 16, right? And then uh, the common ratio R, you can divide A2 by A1, A3 by A2, or A4 by A3, it doesn't really matter. So in this case, I'm going to do A3 divided by A2. Okay, so that's going to be 144 divided by negative 48. So uh, what is 144 divided by negative 48? Should be 3. Let's verify. Uh, 144 divided by negative 48. The answer is th negative 3. I'm sorry. Negative 3. Common ratio is negative 3. The common ratio is negative. That's why all the signs are bouncing all over the place. Now, let's take a look at this. We have one equation. Exactly one unknown, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want, okay? All right, let's look for the sum, S sub 10. S sub 10, we're just gonna plug in all the knowns into this equation and compute the sum. So we're gonna have 16 minus 16 times the common ratio, which is negative three. Put that in parentheses as a negative, raised to the uh, 10th power. And then divide the whole thing by one minus the common ratio, which is negative three. So one minus, oop, one color. 1 minus negative 3. Okay, so that yields um, 16. Now, what is six, negative 16 times negative 3 to the 10th power? Let's compute that with a, with a 
calculators real quick. So I'm going to put in this right side of the numerator. So it's going to be negative uh, 16 times parenthesis negative 3 raised to the 10th power. I'm going to do everything in one step. So negative 9, 4, 4, 7, 8, 4. 9, 4, 4, 7, 8, 4. Okay. So it's going to be 16 minus 9, 4, 4, 7, 8, 4. And then we're going to divide that by 1 minus negative 3, which is simply 1 plus 3. Because you know minus times minus is a plus, right? You can just slash and dash like that. Um, so it's going to be over 4 on the denominator. All right? So to save time, let's just plug in this whole uh, uh, rational expression in the uh, this ratio of numbers in the um, calculator. So we're going to have parentheses 16 minus 944784. That result divided by 4. And our answer is 236192. Okay, so our result is negative 236,192. That's your final answer. So there goes the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric series that is represented by uh, the series of numbers that were provided up there. Okay, so there you have it. All right, thanks for paying attention to this uh, clip. Now we're going to go ahead and start with the crossword for today.